think part of the European Union has helped us to strengthen our advocacy efforts. The fact that we were able to partner with other organizations conducting the same kind of work in the European Union was a benefit to us as uh, civil society. Um, over the more than a decade, we have seen some things change um, for the better in Malta, but I would say across the European Union, the situation has deteriorated um, significantly. In, in fact, to follow up on what Maria said, I think one of the biggest concerns we have at the moment is the fact that because of the way the European Union has chosen to manage uh, migration, refugees are being forced to risk their lives and to take illegal methods to come to European safety. So what we would like to see is the European Union making a clear commitment towards allowing refugees to come here safely and legally. We remain concerned uh, with the lack of transparency in relation to this informal agreement between the Maltese and the Italian government. Um, another concern would be, um, which is linked to what Neil said about the lack of access to, to legal options, options to, to apply for asylum and, and, and get protection within the European Union, is also the, the lack of freedom for asylum seekers upon arrival within the European Union. Um, we feel that many of the refugees are forced into an irregular situation because they simply lack the freedom to move around in the same way that the European uh, citizens can. And this is ultimately um, because of the lack of solidarity and agreement between the EU member states. It's time for them to pull their socks up and act together, not against each other.